Mark, so this John Wick 3, man, this is one of the best worlds that, that's been created in such a long time. But I gotta ask, because you're no, you're no stranger to stunts, you're no stranger to action, what was the hardest challenge for you, physically or mentally? Well, thanks for having me, Joe. Yes. Uh, I think the, the, one of the hardest things was to get up to speed from zero to 100 in a short amount of time. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> I got the text from, from Chad Stahelski, our director, on a Sunday um, to call him on Monday. I called him Monday. Uh, he said, Dacascos, things have changed. You're going from a couple of scenes to the lead villain. I leave Monday night. I got the Tuesday, Wednesday prep, Thursday shooting. So there was not a lot of preparation for me, and I just had to like get my, my mind and spirit and body ready to go 100 miles an hour. You know, right. Because... Keanu, Halley, the whole team came in there very well prepared. Fortunately, 8711 Action Design, Chad, Keanu, very welcoming. And, um, you know, I like to think that they, uh, they got me up to where I could, you know, perform with them. You know, so. it's interesting because Chad obviously has a huge background in stunts. Yes. What was it like working for him as a director with that kind of mindset that he has with the uh, way he kind of coordinates this? Okay, working with Chad was a dream because he understood what we were going through. Mm -hmm. uh, he could do the moves that we did, or at least he could do the moves that I, I did as well, if not better. So he, he got me, you know, and he could explain the angles we were, uh, you know, he was shooting at and what he wanted in each, each bit. It was a joy. It was a joy. Now, let me ask you about Zero a little bit. Okay. What, is, uh, what was your favorite aspect of playing that character and what translated in your real life to Zero as the character? Oh, very easy. The couch scene. Because uh, I am a huge Keanu Reeves fan and Zero is a huge John Wick fan. Sure. So when I saw in the script that uh, the dialogue you know, was, you know, I'm a fan, uh, I just asked you know, Chad and Keanu if they felt comfortable if I just pushed it over even more. Not just I'm a fan, but I'm a fan right. boy. You know, and, and played that and it was really fun. I think um, that was probably one of my most favorite scenes I've ever done. 8711, uh, I've been there once and it's intense. Yes. Not only is it intense, some of the best stunt performers in the world. Absolutely. So talk to me about the process of training there and how, how quickly they got you up to speed. Because you said it was a very short amount of time you had to prepare for this. Oh, it was a very short amount of time. So yes, they are some of the best in the world. And uh, so like I said, I, I got to New York from LA on Tuesday. I did, I did a wardrobe check, met with Chad and Angelica and Keanu, everybody that day. Did my physical, uh, shaved, I didn't shave my hair off until Wednesday, I think. But, uh, you know, prepped as much as we could. And then Wednesday, um, I did the rest, shaved the head, and we had a little bit of a fight rehearsal, and then Thursday we started shooting. Wow. So they just kind of, you know, taught me as much as they could day by day. It was a day by day. It was always you know, like trying to catch up for whatever was happening that afternoon. What was the biggest lesson you learned uh, after playing Zero in John Wick 3? Uh, what was something that maybe you hadn't known before or maybe you want to implement in other roles that you have going forward? Well, I think it's, um, you have to be prepared. As an actor, as a martial artist, you have to keep things flowing and just be open to improvising and transitions. Life changes all the time. And you know, on Sunday, I wasn't a part of John Wick 3. Sure. And on Monday, I was. That's crazy. And then on Thursday, we were shooting. And uh, a franchise that I'd been a fan of, all of a sudden, within just a few days, I'm a part of. So life changes and you know, there are ups and downs. And I think, um, in my case, doing John Wick 3, when things are up, really appreciate and be grateful and, and be aware and present. Right, right, because right. Because you know it's not going to last. Sure. So enjoy it while it's there.